Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Newton and this is the Melhores Seu Inglês Podcast. Hello everyone, in this week's episode we are going to see have something done. How do we use have something done? So first, let's, let's study this example situation. The roof of Lisa's house was damaged in a storm. Yesterday, a workman came and repaired it. Lisa had the roof repaired yesterday. This means Lisa arranged for somebody else to repair the roof. She didn't repair it herself. Okay, so let's take a look again. The roof of Lisa's house was damaged in a storm, so it was damaged. Then yesterday, a workman came and repaired it. Lisa had the roof repaired yesterday. This is how we use had something done. And this means that Lisa arranged for somebody else to go to her house and repair her roof. She didn't repair it herself. So, we use have something done to say that we arrange for somebody else to do something for us. So, let's compare. Lisa repaired the roof. is the same as she repaired it herself. Lisa had the roof repaired. is the same as she arranged for somebody else to repair it. So, did you make those curtains yourself? Yes, I enjoy making things. Did you make those curtains? Did you have those curtains made? No, I made them myself. So when we use have something done, we use having something done to say that we arrange for somebody else to do something for us. So let's take a look uh, at other examples. So because you have to be careful with the word order, the past participle repair it, cut, you know, done is after the object. So let's see a lot of examples for us to really understand this. Lisa had the roof repaired yesterday. Lisa had the roof, the roof is the object, repaired yesterday. That's the past participle. Where did you have your hair cut? Where did you have your hair cut? Where did you have your hair cut? Your hair looks nice. Have you had it cut? Have you had object it cut? Past participle. Our neighbors has just had a garage built. Our neighbors has just had a garage built. So they built, they got a lot of people, some people, some workers to build them a garage. Um, we are having the house painted at the moment. We are having the house painted at the moment. So we got people working to paint our house. How often do you have your car serviced? How often do you have your car serviced? Oh, some workers to build them a garage. Um, we are having the house painted at the moment. We are having the house painted at the moment. So we got people working to paint our house. How often do you have your car serviced? How often do you have your car serviced? So how often people go, uh, how often do you take your car to, to an auto shop to, you know, they do some maintenance on your car? Um, I think you should have that coat cleaned. I think you should have that coat cleaned. That coat object, have object past participle. I don't like having my photograph taken. I don't like having my photograph taken. So get something done. You can also say get something done instead of have something done because uh, mainly in uh, uh, informal spoken English when you are talking informally we say get something done. Oh you need to get something done here. So when you are going to get the roof repaired is the same as when you're going to have the roof repaired. I think you should get your hair cut really short. I think you should get your hair cut really short. Sometimes have something done has a different meaning. For example, 
Poe and Karen had all their money stolen while they were on holiday. So Poe and Karen had all their money stolen while they were on holiday. This does not mean that they arranged for somebody to steal their money. They had all their money stolen means only all their money was stolen from them by somebody else. With this meaning, we use have something done to say that something happens to somebody or their belongings. Usually, what happens is not nice. For example, Gary had his nose broken in a fight. His nose was broken by some people, you know, in a fight. Some person broke his nose. Have you, ha have you ever had your passport stolen? So, this is a negative way. This is something bad, right? Have you ever had your pa passport stolen? So, have you lost your passport? So, that's, uh, that, that's when we use have something done with a different meaning. So, I hope you enjoyed our week's podcast. So, this is have something done. And see you next week. And this was the Melhor em Seu Inglês podcast. Para aulas de inglês por Skype, focadas em conversação, individuais, personalizadas e para todos os níveis, basta entrar em contato comigo ou com a professora Erika nos nossos sites Melhor em Seu Inglês Instagram, Melhor em Seu Inglês Facebook e o...